I'm Darius and I'm Sam and welcome to the Oxford Shoe podcast. This podcast is by young people for young people just to talk about the things that we care about. We're here to give you a voice whether that's the voice your creativity, your professionalism or just something that you're doing that you feel needs to be spoken about. And if you want to get in touch and actually get on this podcast you really can. We don't bite. I mean, we promise. And we genuinely, we promise. But the real question here is, are you listening? I mean, are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? <laughs> Let's just get on into the podcast. Hello. Hi. We're back. Hello. <laughs> we, we, we We've got friends survive. as well. We look at all of the beautiful friends. And if you can't, if you're not watching <laughs> us, then you will hear all of the beautiful, <laughs> amazing friends. So, Although we are missing Taya, unfortunately. Taya, we miss you. We miss you so much, Blake. Just, she, she didn't make it. She didn't make it out of 2020, obviously. Man, you can't say that. She's still stuck oh. in 2020. No, Very she's dark. fine. Everything's fine. We're here. It's 2021. Welcome, everybody. And welcome back to the Oxfordshire Youth Podcast. Um, it's a new year. We've got new setups. We've got new goals. We've got new everything. And a new lockdown, which brings us on to the conversation <laughs> point of today. Um, so, it's just as like you probably can, one. Yeah. <laughs> as you can probably tell from the from the episode title, um, we're here to talk about yet another lockdown and how young people are coping with that, or not coping, or just cracking on because this is unfortunately the state of normality now. We've reached a point in lockdown where lockdown is the norm. Um, third one, right? 3.0. No longer lockdown oh. two, electric boogaloo. We've now got to come up with a new name for lockdown three. I'll, I'll think of something by the end of the episode. But <laughs> let's go ahead and introduce who we've got on today. Because uh, we're joined by some really fantastic members of the Oxfordshire Youth Committee who help us, help me and Darius, put together these episodes, plan them out, and realise what the hell we're talking about. About. So, who would like to go first of introducing themselves? Ben, you are directly below me on my screen, so I'm just going to go, I'm going to jump straight into you. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, yeah, I'm Ben. I work with Oxfordshire Youth with some stuff. Um, I, that's, you know, I do things. I'm here. What, 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 what's, what, what's your point of view? Where are you coming from? You're a, you're a oh, sixth form student, aren't yeah. you? I'm a, I'm a sixth form student. I started sixth form in September. It feels in like... Lockdown. Yeah, it feels like a year ago. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's been interesting going into sixth form. Also, I was the year who missed my A-levels. So, no, my GCSEs. So at least... Ah. There's a little Ooh. bit of a positive. Oh, we'll see. We'll we see. Have things, we have so many things to say about that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. We will. <laughs> oh. We, we, we've, we've lucked out here. We've managed to get three quite unique perspectives of lockdown. We've got Ben, uh, our sixth form student. We've got Jenny, our uni student, who we'll go on to in a second. We've got Christian, our resident worker at the moment, just taking on a new role. <laughs> um, so let's jump in. Jenny, introduce yourself. Hello, um, I'm Jenny. I am a second year university student, so I'm just about to start my second semester. Hopefully that goes all right. Um, I've been working with youth groups for quite a few years now and have been a part of many amazing events, such as the Youth Award. Um, and yeah, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> no, it's all right, just a brief introduction, it's all cool. Um, and finally, Christian. <laughs> Hello, I've made a return. He's back. <laughs> um, so last time I was on the uh, podcast, I was actually full time work. I'm mm. still full time work, but now I'm an apprentice for Oxfordshire Youth, which is brilliant. Mm. I've only gotten the podcast because I'm a young person. That's my only past on the podcast, really. No, uh, I'd say I, <laughs> as an ex as an ex apprentice myself, I like to have the apprenticeship view of things because it's you know you've got the world of work balance with the world of still you know in education so you yeah. kind of you've got a taste of both and both equally is terrifying at the moment um so 
who yeah Darius we're in lockdown again <laughs> you've got a new role as well how are you feeling about everything I mean my new role is 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 just basically I have the same job I had when I was 14 because money got really really tight and I'm back at the same pizza hot job I had when I was 14 which is um it's interesting don't get me wrong I love it because money and my bank account is no longer dry um, yeah, boy. but it, it, it feels weird um it's... but never, nevertheless I'm still ridiculously busy all the time as always. that's the thing you, you feel you we find ourselves with more time but somehow more things to fill it with yeah if that makes sense in the slightest and yeah I, I completely vibe with the whole I'm back doing what I was doing when I was 14 I mean when when we first started this podcast oh gosh back in lockdown when was that again which was, was which one that was almost a year ago actually I think it was a year ago that's almost a year in March I think yeah year in March that's fine time yeah, I, I was doing my apprenticeship back then as well. Um, since that time, I've been I've worked in a warehouse. I've been a bartender. I've sold golf memberships, and now I sell kitchen appliances. <laughs> nice. I mean, so you've done the full rotation. I, I, I'm doing the full rotation of the sales jobs at the moment. But no, I'm just like like you say, I'm happy to have the bank account lined and yeah. Yeah. Uh, bit of security because I think that's something that is a bit terrifying at the moment i guess uh, focusing on our two students people here um security unsureness there's a lot of that floating around isn't there yeah nobody yeah. knows what's going to happen every every morning when we go into like because we have to we have little meetings in the morning to try and maintain some normality um every morning we go in and our like form tutors like we don't have any news on what's happening with a levels yet and we're like Ugh, great <laughs> yeah imagine what it's like for year 13 so I, I think a lot of students are um like at uni like they do their exams at home but they're recorded while they do it so that the teacher can make sure that they're not cheating <laughs> yeah so i don't like you could just have like walls that, like signs up behind your computer that they're not going to see yeah. it's like zoom in onto your eyes <laughs> see them just don't wear reflective eyes. glasses like i do is there any <laughs> any time i'm on a zoom call i have to rem- remember that everyone can see what i'm doing on my phone because it's <laughs> yeah. just reflected in my glasses um christian starting a new role starting an apprenticeship no less yeah. which is you know apprenticeships are meant to be hands-on learning from your employer uh you know yeah. getting the taste of the experience are you, are you working from home? Are you um, in the office? So, I started last week and we had two days in the office and it was the other three was at home. Yeah. Going forward, until I start my placement on the 9th of February, it's four days at home, one in the office. And after that, it's two days of placement. I'm guessing, yeah, two days are then at working from home and one day in the office. So I'm going to be pretty busy come February 9th. Ah, welcome to the world of work. You will yes. Uh, yeah, get you. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, no, it's a really fantastic role to be taking on as well. I mean, Darius, you've mm. been working with Oxford Tube for a stupid amount of years. Kind of, how do you find your journey with Oxford Tube changing from what you what you remember to what it is now? I kind of feel like I'm stuck, but in a good way. <laughs> like in this like perpetual, consistent Zoom call all the time never ending <laughs> zoom because it's like um whether it's a trustee meeting or it's something like this or we just need to talk or something we can't just casually go to the office now and be like oh yeah let's have a meeting it's just nah. yeah let's have another zoom call and then after that zoom call let's do another zoom call and then yeah so it's all of the content is the same but how like Oxford youth is running and everything is has changed um yeah massively like We've become bigger as a charity, which is amazing. Um, but it's just, it's just. I mean, adaptation has been like something that I think we've all learned. We've just learned to adapt, but it's still, it. I don't like it. I, I would rather. <laughs> I just. I'm not. I'm going to be real. Do I like being on Zoom to film this podcast? No. Do I like being <laughs> on Zoom? To, like, do like trustee meetings? No. I want to see people, but you know, COVID nineteen. Decided to. I, I've genuinely forgotten. Mm. I, I think I said this on the first podcast we ever did. I have genuinely forgotten how tall all of you are. Oh, not to that me, tall. You are, Don't worry. You're, 
currently to me you're all about 10 centimeters and you have been for the past year get a cardboard um, cut out of danny devito and you'll know wow <laughs> you say that as if i don't have one hiding in my wardrobe anyway <laughs> that's how tall i am no need to imagine right, let me just google that one real quick <laughs> No, I, I get the the never-ending Zoom call. That's yeah, that's weird. I mean, I guess with your new job now, you're you, you're getting your outside time, which is nice. I, it's weird because I'm effectively within the, in some respect, the key worker category because it's like delivery drivers and all of that. So I can still yeah. No one would survive without takeaways. It's as simple as that. Which you, you are a key worker. Yeah. It's lovely, but it's also mm. kind of like. I, Granted, I've actually had some lovely customers. I've had one bad one, but like most of the customers I've had to serve have been amazing. Um, and it's like the weirdest thing that I've noticed doing this job is children. Children who have been born during this lockdown period are they're, oh. a, different, they're a different breed because I knocked on a door. Well, I didn't knock on the door. I like you know elbowed a door because you know health and safety and all that. Um, and the dad came to the door with this little girl this little girl ran to the door because this is the only other human interaction that this little girl is going to get in the, her whole day and it's like if the postman's there she runs to the door if like there's any like knocks on the door for any amazon delivery she runs to the door and i was having this like chat with the dad then this little girl proceeds to speak in you know baby speaks i'm there you know appeasing this child which is adorable and she's so like and i'm just like oh my gosh really (laughs) because like this child is not getting any other interaction apart from her parents which is like don't get me wrong i'm sure it's lovely that parents get to spend all this time with their children but it's also like this child has not experienced anything but lockdown and they're gonna face a lot of attachment issues i think when they have to go back to work oh yeah 100 percent. i've been there thinking about these you know (laughs) puppies that have been bought during lockdown and will you know have separation anxiety i forgot about children <laughs> um, <laughs> you you do that when you don't have your own that's the thing <laughs> i just i was worried about the dogs not the actual human children that have been did you hear about the world. puppy that was so excited that it kept wagging its tail and it sprained its tail because of how happy it was. Aww. Like, it was oh, happy tail. Its tail. Oh, that one. It was so right. cute. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm not going to lie. Blue Monday. Talk, that's a, talk that's a... another point. Lockdown and Blue Monday. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I heard it a lot on Zoom calls today. Zoom calls, just meetings in general. I just heard Blue Monday, Blue Monday. And I was like, I'm fine. I'm chilling with a coffee on a meeting. It's Nothing's affecting me here. I think it's because it's the first credit card bills of the year or something. So, and I guess yeah. with a lot of people, financial stress, like you said yourself, Darius, kind of money got tight during last lockdown. Um, I guess that's Blue Monday is going to be massively exaggerated. And is that, is, have you guys noticed that certain aspects of normal life that are normally quite pants anyway, have they been exaggerated for you during lockdown? Have they, you know, or is this just, like I said, the, the normality now? That's a stomach. very good question. I mean, I mean, with with something with exercise, um, I haven't exercised with anyone for mm. like a year, and I'm a really social person. So it's like, but now it kind of the idea of like playing sports with someone else seems weird instead of just going for a run on your own. So I guess I've kind of got used to it as much as nobody wants to be in this lockdown can anybody actually see what normal life will be like afterwards oh, it's we're not gonna be normal for a while afterwards yeah I think even we'll have masks and social distance and probably till yeah. next year yeah mm. even after lockdown is over oh, exactly. i think it's i think we should normalize it though like if like even a, like if people are just ill after this they should still distance themselves from others and wear masks because like you know colds aren't the worst thing in the world but like no one wants one yeah. People and they could die yeah. for them. Exactly. They could be the worst thing in the world to someone else. So have a bit of... I think it's also opening up the world of... like So like myself and Christian, we're working from home. Jenny, Ben, you're um, Zooming into school. Darius, you're on Zoom meetings pretty much 24 hours a day. Um, so I think there's going to be a lot of jobs that people never thought could be done from home that are now being done from home. 
So that be, that's opening up another world for disability rights and everything, which is fantastic. So there have been positives so, of lockdown, remember. It's good for the environment. Carbon footprint has obviously been lowered because of it, because no one's driving to work constantly. So The only thing that's bad for is hay fever, because there's no um, uh, emissions cloud to weigh down pollen during uh, hay fever season, which is why last year when it was hay fever season, I nearly died. Oh my goodness, oh that explains so much because like I remember yep. waking up every day and just like crying. Not because lockdown. I mean, I mean, actually no, yes, because of lockdown. But crying. <laughs> it's because which tears which a little bit of emissions just to make sure that I don't have to take antihistamines and knock myself out for a month of every month every month of spring. <laughs> um but no, it's a changing world. Uh for the better, for the worse, who knows? But things are changing. It's it's a new year. It might mm -hmm. feel like it's exactly the same yeah it, it really does especially like considering all of the fun things that happened at the start of 2021 um which just it's not the one well they're funding the podcast episode they're funding mm. school meals now they're funding the school meals and everything now so that's something to look forward to granted at first mm. the 30 pounds packages weren't packages great too. but yeah literally but um at least they're being re-evaluated so people have more time on their hands which means more time on twitter of course which means mm. things like this spread a lot quicker i think so public mm -hmm. opinion was swayed very quickly especially with the whole marcus rashford movement yeah uh, and we're, when this was known people have more time to take it normally you wouldn't look twice at a food package I, i'm saying this as an example i have i have no experience of food packages but you might look at a food package and just oh that do and you're too busy with other things being stuck at home you take more time and appreciate things more and you know everything's online now mm -hmm. everything's online so it's impossible to avoid um so the the blonde i can't say those words the blonde man in charge of a country um is, has no place what? to escape anymore <laughs> no. well he's creating his own platform i believe he's what now yeah he's creating his own social media platform because he wants to get away from, I'm, I'm doing air quotes here. I know you can't see me, but <laughs> fake news. Yeah, um, I heard about that. You know, so he's having, he's making his own. Ooh. I mean, apparently, ooh, allegedly. Ooh, 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 However, here's the other thing. That's on its way out. Yeah. One is the year where Biden is sworn into power. There is a radical change coming whether that radical change is things start getting better or American civil war, we'll find out in the next couple of months. Um, but change is coming and whatever way you look at it, lockdown has massively exaggerated change. Frustrations grow faster, anger grows quicker. You know, there is no avoiding things anymore. Beforehand, you could just potter along with your life quite normally. Now there is no avoiding things like this. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's quite important for the future. So we'll see. Focusing back on our country, though, it's just been announced that UK now has the highest death rate in the world. In the world? Oh, in the world. Solely for nice. COVID or overall? That's COVID. So hold on, where's the headline? Where's my headline gone? Um, and people, are, people, are still saying, people are still saying we don't need to lock down. Yeah, oh. those people a bit. Yeah, they don't listen to the news. That's what I'm gonna say. We'll just leave it as that. I went to the I went to the shop today, and as I was walking there, there was a man, and he had his mask on his forehead, obviously trying to protect his brain. But you know. So I'm I'm going pre lockdown. I'm talking about December. I was last. I was literally almost last minute Christmas shopping. It's about a few days before Christmas. I mean a few days, and I mean like four days beforehand, because I I had just about enough money to get the presents I needed and all that. And I was in Oxford with my girlfriend. We're going towards Westgate, and there were these people um, doing the whole "this is a way of the government controlling you," yada yada yada. And I kind of just turned to my girlfriend. And I went, "Really? Really? They don't." know about what's actually happening they're, they're saying it's all this and that yet yeah, they're looking at the figures and probably going at home probably going eh well you know 
it's oh, again it's a case of perception a lot of the time it's a lot it's quite frustrating for people who i mean like say me and my partner we the, there's some people who are still you know going meeting up staying at each other's houses and everything me and my partner have separated for about a month now i think because of lockdown um again it's just a massive case of perception i think you mean you you go onto google and you can find an article to support whatever opinion you have at the end of the day if you say vaccines cause autism you'll be get presented with 2000 reasons of why they don't and why even if they did that's not a bad thing but you can always find one article that says it does yeah when people want to pers- you know um talk about things like and people do have genuine worries i mean there is worries about government control um they what in their mind they're doing the right thing and i think that's the thing to remember is that they in yeah. their mind they think they're doing the right thing even if that thing is quite dangerous um but like i say case perception which is a big thing with lockdown it's so, really difficult to like mess with or change what someone believes because it's like if they 100 percent wholeheartedly believe that you know the vaccines are something i don't know what but if they believe it's that then that's what they'll believe and no matter how much evidence you show them they're always going to believe that it's literally like like with with anything that exists so yeah it's it's very difficult to change someone's perception even with factual evidence so which is unfortunate but it's just just people being people i think even if you can't change someone's perception on that matter it's still important to speak out and oppose them solely for the purpose of informing young people that it's okay to do your own research and to have your own opinion on the matter. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, I'm sure we'll do another one of these episodes when we go into lockdown 4.0. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. Don't, say that. don't jinx say it. That, and then Boris is going to be listening like, oh my gosh, yeah, I've got a grandpa. Let's do like lockdown I, number four. Let's, no, don't do it. Don't, don't. I am an agent of chaos and destruction. We all know this. He'll uh, give us Valentine's Day off. <laughs> that's not that doesn't sound like the best idea because people have been deprived of you know affection yeah. and it's just kind of like valentine's day off woo and that no, no. Yeah. social distancing no um <laughs> so we're, we're, we'll, we'll leave it at that um <laughs> guys thank you so much for coming on um it's been lovely to catch up we miss you all so much um and thank you to everyone listening for joining us for another episode of the oxford Chief podcast <laughs> another another lockdown another podcast <laughs> um yeah as usual comment what you want to hear comment if you like the uh if you like the podcast share it with your friends with family you know those uh, separation anxiety driven puppies make sure they hear it as well and the children help. don't forget and the children gosh sorry it happened again <laughs> um, <laughs> um thank you any last words darius goodbye have fun stay safe wear your mask you know social distance all that jazz live your best life within reason <laughs> hands face space <laughs> Yeah, no, we, we we are not able to the government, by the way. Like, just just no. just. You, I was <laughs> unless that wasn't <laughs> unless that wasn't blatantly clear. I just, <laughs> making you guys aware, like I was gonna say, like use your common sense, but for some people, sense isn't always common. But just you know, try try your best to like abide by the rules as much as possible. I get it. There are sometimes you know you're gonna go have to do a thing, but just within reason. Be, just keep, just stay in your house. Just just stay. Like you got Netflix, you got Amazon Prime, you got all the things. Just stay in your house. You got Plus. Use your brain. Fantastic. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, beautiful people. Bye. Bye.